What's up, everybody? This is the Sneaker Box uh, Sunday evening show right here on Woodward Sports. I am your host, The African Caesar. Um, a little flustered, but we're going to get it together. Uh, when I'm joined by most of the crew, we got the contrarian of the show, Gino. I'm flustered, too. Everybody flustered. That's the word of the day, flustered. Yeah, that's what we're rocking with today. There you go. I don't know what Guru doing over there, but I guess he, he's flustered too. He flustered. Uh, I ain't flustered, is the, man. Is that the sign language for flustered? No, I'm good. I'm what good, what good. was the sign language? What was it? Oh, uh, do it again, Guru. I was on like this because I'm trying to see. You know, C's got on the MAGA City outfit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm surprised that you would such wow. support such a city who has such vile to words towards the African American community. He even rocked the players, Celtics jersey before. When the players come there to play, you know what I'm saying? What city are you talking about? Utah. A lot of players hate playing there because well, the fans are yelling. Yeah. Well, Utah's this is state. well at the time of this jersey, mm-hmm. it was the New Orleans Jazz. So mm-hmm. this is New Orleans. Oh yeah, hats at Utah. So that's yeah, why I was going to say. Right, that, but yeah. it's the team. But the jersey. Utah, Utah. Utah. Right, so I've been wearing Utah. Backwards Utah. Backwards okay, you could have cool. put it off. You just had the little, you know, the spin wheel. But you got the Utah on top of that. Damn it, I was close. <laughs> so, Rats. I'm, um, I'm, I'm I'm happy to see you with that on because I seen what you got on your feet. Yeah, you put out the Ivan. You know what? It's funny. I was like, I thought about this jersey. I was like, I might be able to pull this off. You got on your Ivan Oozes, man. I'm happy to wear it. We turn, we like push your teeth you into wearing it. We push your teeth and you in wearing those. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely push your teeth you into wearing those. went down a little bit. It's like you literally just stepped in slime. Nah, nah, nah. I, I think I pulled them off, though. Oh, you got your Michigan on toils on. Damn it. I don't know. Okay, man. I'm, I'm, see, I'm about to start the show off with a rant. I'm already mad. But I'm still mad that they only went up to a size 12. I mean, 14 and those. That's because they left you and well, the football you got team the to get the you PEs. Got the, you got, yeah, no, exactly. I don't. You got I don't the have, real ones. No, I don't. These the knockoffs okay. that they sold in stores. I don't, I don't have a legit pair like you got, you. You and the football team, you got the yeah. PEs in the football team, though. Man, no. Whatever. Go go on at your people, man. You know you're cool with, with them, man. You're an influencer. I mean, I wish. You, you've you used the power of influence before. When? Bro, and that's when we had the hookup too. That's when we was with DTLR still. You used the he used the power to influence. No, I'm saying I didn't get a pair of shoes. Like no, I ain't never get a pair of shoes. Not work there. What you know how it goes? <laughs> wow, <Wild. laughs> <laughs> it is yeah, I try, Sunday. I try to keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? Positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Positive. Energy. Are you excited because that that Yay album came out? Uh, Finally, not so, not so much. I just been how was it? Because I didn't listen to it yet. Uh, it's been pretty. It's, it's like a combination mm. of. So that's, that's why I didn't want to listen to it. Musically, it sounds to me it sounds like a mixture of all his albums. Sounds like trash. I got through three tracks. I got oh, that's a, what I had a feeling. I got to finish checking out the rest of it, but so far but I'm not Kanye impressed. Gino don't worst. like nobody, so Kanye. I is, am the contrary. Uh, <laughs> exactly. So I, I, he I'm listen, like no, I'm gonna listen to it myself. I'm mm. just saying his last few albums have been suspect, iffy, borderline okay. If that. And but his fans, I swear to God, like somebody, I seen a meme where it's like he could put out a blank album, and his fans will still be like, I hear the music. I like, think that's a, that go for Drake fans, that go for Kendrick fans, that go for Cole fans. Nah, yes. not in the last two, no. It go for yeah. Cole fans. Cole, Cole fans. Cole fans. No, 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 because that because that that last Cole album, I was <laughs> nah. expecting so much more. I was pretty disappointed. No, but everybody says the Cole is best album no, this year. That's not. Goes, there it's we not. go. There it's we not. go to the Cole fans. It's like, not though. But I, that's that's proves that's my what I'm point. Saying. But it's not though. Every person I'm who's a Cole, Cole fan. But no, no, no. You are the contrarian. <laughs> <laughs> Just exactly. I'm a, I'm a contrarian so, yeah, so against that's myself. What, but the Cole fans say, bro, this is like the best. Honestly, album. though, like the only albums I could think of, like from like beginning to end, that I like that really stick out to me this year is the Nas album and Benny the Butcher. Which Benny the Butcher album? No, damn it. Good question. Mm, the last one was cool to me. The other one before that, I really enjoyed. Pl- what the plug? Uh, Can't remember which one. Uh, the one with Harry Fraud was all right, but the one before that was cool. I like the beginning. But those are the only two albums that stick out to me this year. Like, I mean, like as far as full albums that like I can listen to. Uh, no, I can let the album just go. I'm I'm a big Griselda fan, so him I mean, too. Him too. All I give him his due. No, all, all so three them. three albums yeah, this year. That's it. Honestly. West Side like, everybody got like a song here and there, but for the most part, like don't nobody know how to put albums together no more. But I think that goes to consumption though, because yep. nobody re- their attention span is too yeah. short. That's why no, songs are two minutes. Like That's why fans like just like the sneaker game, like a lot of these hype beats have ruined the sneaker game. Some of them, not all, right? 
the attention span, same thing that comes up with music as the ruining thing too. But it's a couple of yay, yay songs on there that's like five minutes. I'm like, well, what was the last time I heard a five minute rap song? Yeah, but you know the, what I'm saying? the like, track list is what? It's 23? 20, 27 songs. Yeah, yeah so. Even that is like. Oh, man. what's the name of the album just came out? Uh, Grip? It was decent. Who? Grip. Some new rapper from Atlanta, I believe. He had that song with him. I, I just I came out. Checked okay, him out. I have to look into it. My I, bad. I just want, it was like, you know. Cloud bubbles that just went over my. I, I listened know. to like half the album, but like so far so good. So, mm. um, but Nas probably got the best album this year to me. Bro, that that Lauren Hill joint that. still hit. <laughs> Cole fans hear that. To me, I like Nas album. I enjoy his. I honestly, it's hard for a second album to be better than the first, as far as in the series. Yeah, but I feel like this King Disease two might be better than the first one. Oh, I yeah. really like hands the first one. I hands really down. like the first one. Hands down, that, better than the first that one. That Cardi right. five, yeah. that, right? But you know how you say, yeah. when, yes. But you know how when you say something's better, people automatically think you're saying that the first one is bad. No, nah, but it's nah, not. Compared, no, both you know, are great, but this one is it's, better. It's it's one of those things where, like, even Hit Boy's production. Like just stepped up yeah. on this next album. Like it was good mm. on this last one, but it just got better. So I don't know, but Cardi Five, my favorite song they didn't did together though. Who the Cardi Five on the first one? Where uh, I think Charlie Wilson was singing. On yeah, the that, that, that's yeah, that was a Cardi Five. Was that's nice. Nobody hits for me though. Like that, him and Lauren Hill together, man. That, that was uh, store run. But that, uh, that's my joint. Store, store run, run the forty. That's dope man. too. I like sun, I like brunch on Sundays. What's the brunch other one? on I mean, Sundays? Honestly, is hard too, yeah. man. The whole album Ooh, hard. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I can, that's probably the first album in a long time that I can listen to from beginning to end and not skip a track. Oh, he was on that going hand. He was like, oh, I you got said the, that Benny the Butcher. I got the fresh white linen. That Benny the Butcher was my the first network. One this year. I got the fresh white linen. My network matched my image. <laughs> 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 like that can't. A lot of people can't say that. That's <laughs> that's that was a hard bar, but yeah, that's dope. I mean, it's Nas. I mean, what you gonna say? But uh, anyway, uh, we got a good show for everybody. Um, of course, uh, if you have been following us on social media, you know that we have the. Um, the interview with the guys Rob and uh, Jamel from uh, BR Kicks. Do we really want to call it an interview, though? It was more of a conversation. You know, our you know our interviews. Uh, I say interviews just because of, we we kicked it with them for they lack of a better word. Us. Yeah, That's we got to kick like. it with the guys from Bleach yeah. Reports no. or BR Kicks. Uh, Sneak this. Uh, it's a sketch comedy show for sneakerheads. Uh, you know, some of those skits, like I said, hit for me. Um, like I talked about the uh, the one. Um, we had to sneak the packages in oh. past your significant other. Uh, mm-hmm. What I wanted to bring up was the one with the tape <laughs> on the, the shipping tape. How they got the they brand the shipping tape. Oh, you know, basically letting every thief every, in your yeah. neighborhood know that hey, this is valuable right here. But there's only like four neighbors on your block, so I don't really doubt there's thieves in your neighborhood. Are there any neighbors on his block? He got a couple of neighbors. You know what really, I'm saying? Get are they commit. really are they really neighbors or do they actually live within his compound? They, they, they're neighbors, you know what I'm saying? Maybe an acre and a half separates them, but you know, according well, he probably to they bought their house. According to the survey and the geographical location and, you know, your voting district, he technically has neighbors. <laughs> He technically has never. So. That's the first time I ever heard somebody bring up a voting district. <laughs> right. Like, uh, uh, how do you respond <laughs> to that? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you can just throw an alternative uh, facts. Uh, so, so, hey. Like, what, like what I'm supposed to, how am I supposed to counter that? They're, they're really not his neighbors, though. He's hey. bought housing for them. So uh, I think he. I, the they technically coming? live with him in uh, a sense. They live in his. No, it's a privilege to live in his area, but I don't think he bought their house. This is compound, man. That's what I'm but calling. I mean, it. he, you know, he has to. He has a lot of payroll on his. Uh, uh, I wish my bills payroll. knew about the money y'all think I have. His his, his crib is kind of like the. Uh, that Tyler Perry Studios. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, in Atlanta. <laughs> that's, oh yeah, that's basically what it's like. It's gotcha. that size. Yeah, gotcha. That's ridiculous. So you have like so your house, so your living space has like an offsite for Penn Soul Academy. What? Like, yeah, well, that's, how? That, that's like, well, I, like, no, like, because kids, you know how Wayne State got off campuses, you know, thing like that. You you have an off campus. Yeah, I never see to amaze me. The dots are able to connect. So I'm just that makes great. sense. I mean, you have the you have the money, you have the resources. Uh, you know, what, what I'm saying. My, I would, I'm telling you, if I had the money, y'all thought I had. You got a, uh, a Michelin Ness factory be doing there. This show right now. I, I mean, my I'd I be mean, at home chilling in my pool. There's a Michelin Ness office there. Uh, yeah, the Jonas <laughs> office there. Wait, they, they sew up the wait, jerseys wait, on site. That's, wait, that's wait, how he got a new one. All the time. He, has a, he has a converse pr- processing facility on there. Yeah. You know Hold what I'm saying? Just what so, I, so I can understand y'all correctly. Sense. Just so I can understand y'all correctly. According to y'all, at my house, mm-hmm. 
our headquarters on your premises, businesses. not in your car. You businesses the have headquartered yeah. their businesses at my house. No, off-site campuses, yeah, not headquarters. Off-site, off-site yeah. campuses, satellite campuses. Yeah, exactly. That's what they call them, satellite what? campuses. Yeah. America, South. y'all see what I got to deal with? This is the yeah, bullshit South. I'm talking about. It's you pretty major, man. No, okay. Only in y'all mind. You big time. Like my question for you is, in the midst of all of that, how are you still able to put together the Sinister Six? What? Kingpin <laughs> headed the Sinister Six. <laughs> wow. He gonna let us. Like, he gonna let us know in December dude, when the yeah. movie drops. You know what it is? Like, no, like it's almost like the like Guru has like his own multiverse. So like, I'm trying to like follow along. I mean, that trailer do look dope though. That trip, man, I can't yeah, wait. The Spider Man trailer was. I nice. can't wait. You know what broke the record for Endgame, right? For uh, most views of a trailer, like within 24 hours. It's crazy right? that we tracking a trailer. <laughs> I mean, we've been waiting for a trailer for Spider Man like all year. It's true. And my dog Doctor Strange supposed to play a major part in it. Yeah. Real quick, Free Guy was a good movie. Just throwing this out there. That was Who? a good movie. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Free Guy. Yeah, I'm straight on that. No, it was actually a pretty good movie. It, it can be. And then... I'm not going to watch it, though. Okay, I forgot you to contrarian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, uh, anybody seen... Uh, what's the movie that just came out this weekend? Candyman? Mm-mm. No? No. That's a Jordan Peele joint? Yeah. Mm. Like, somebody said it was heavy on race, but, I mean, so was the first one. I mean, if he was paying attention, but... <laughs> Man, whatever. Everything. It's 2020 2021. <laughs> it's USA. Everything's happening. Right now. <laughs> Look at the history of the country. Race. <laughs> uh, so like, I'm, tired of, even, I'm tired of this race stuff. Then they go around and even know, this table, go celebrate Thanksgiving. Even, even this shoe selection is heavy on race. Why is it only one black shoe? Yeah. Why is it not equal? Uh, I was trying to show the. Uh, the demographic. And then you only got one on all of these shoes on the one white person shoe up there. The Billy Hoyle joints. So yeah, see, so exactly, yeah, it's so. like it's, it's it's a lot of contradictions going on up here. And you, I see you brought your feel up here that you put over all those other good shoes on that top five list. This ain't the same pair. Though. I know, but you still put that. Yeah, actually, I got I got beef with you on the top five. Oh, I, shut up! Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm, I'm trying to think like the 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 Lely May uh 14 that that was on the list last yeah. week. Yes, I don't, I don't remember, man. What Did you read it? I don't, I, what number you have it at? Yeah, exactly. What Can we? Pl- you know what? Okay, uh, let me go through the social media and then shut. We shut gonna check Gino the tape. Up. Yeah, mm-hmm. we gonna pull the tape, man. <laughs> so real quick, social media. Follow us on Twitter at tsb underscore show. You can follow us on Instagram at the sneaker box underscore show. You can follow us on Facebook by looking at the sneaker box uh, radio show page. And if you want to leave us a voicemail message, whether you want to um, respond to something we said on the show or if you have any sneaker comments or questions, feel free to leave us a message at 248-677-1803. We'll get to it on a later show. Actually, we got some messages starting to pile up, so um, probably get to it on the next show. Uh, anyway, let's jump right into it. Let's get to our five, five sneaker releases of the week or from the last two weeks since we didn't do a show last week. Shout to Adam. Uh, <laughs> look at <laughs> Uh, number five. So, so this is the Fab Ten, then? Huh? It's the Fab Ten? No, we're doing Fab Five, man. Oh. We, we didn't five. do a show last week, so. No, Fab Five, bro. Top Ten? No. Okay. No, Fab Five. Figured I'd ask. Anyway, number five. We have the And bad. then we start off with this. Come on, man. Uh, see? See? You, you just start off on a bad foot. It's not the, I, only way I can say this is a bad choice, I have to see what precedes it. I mean, we, it shouldn't we have the be bad on the season, list. Rather, we have the bad bunny. Season, but, but, um, bad bunny, special edition, <laughs> Adidas, forum buckle low. It's not a bad core shoe. Black. No, it's not a bad shoe. That's just Gino is. being an asshole. It is bad. The only thing no. that makes it dope is it's all black. It's not even a bad shoe. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. bad. It's not a bad shoe. Like, trust me. Like, not I have no reason to co-sign this shoe. Like, not this shoe is not a bad shoe. Not a fan. It's decent. Nope. What next? It's decent. I don't know what the theme was, but I mean, looking at it, it's not a bad shoe. All black. All black everything. I guess. I mean, that's going to be the knock you put against it. Like, I mean, what's wrong with it? Like, actually, detail. I want actually details. Like, what's bad about this shoe? For one, I don't like the shape of it because I, I get it's supposed to be a form, but it's like a form skate looking shoe. So I don't really like how it's, you know. Wasn't that the point? But yeah, I don't that, like that. So that's, that's, that's why I don't like the shoe. See? So doesn't that make sense? Okay. Yeah, there you go. See? I just exp- I explain myself. It's like going to a bakery and being like, oh, this stuff is too sweet. Well, you know, it's a bakery. Uh, they could have, uh, <laughs> you know, sugar-free <laughs> options at a bakery. I mean, they got bread. Oh, you know, your onions, your rice. You know what I'm saying? The overall point was, why would you? Okay, whatever. Number four. We have the undefeated special edition Nike Air Force One Low 5 nice. on it. 
This was a nice Air Force One. I liked it. See again, I, I I'm, what, I'm good with one? that. You good with this? Yeah, but I'm okay. No, nothing. I just, I still want to see. I want to see, the, was, I I like, see okay. the rest of the list. I'm just, just. Waiting. Nah, I'll be the first to admit I wasn't a big fan of uh, the Dunk Lows that came with it in that uh, pack. Th- between the two, I would have picked the Air Force One easily. Mm, I would have picked the Dunk before. I feel like I got more wear out the Dunk because with Air Force Ones, it just. I guess I'm scarred from the 2000s. It's like on three, four wears and that crease. And once that crease is in, it's just it's a wrap. But yeah, but you got options, right? You got so what, force shields or force fields or whatever they call them. You got options. Yeah, but I just to me, I probably prefer the dunk. So, no, I mean, hard. this shoe looks better, but I would buy the dunk because I feel like I can get more use out of it. Yeah, but the dunk gonna crease too. Yeah, but it but don't the, look as bad though. Yeah, I it get what you saying. It don't. Yeah, it don't plus, look as bad. when you wear like dunks and Jordan ones, once they get wrinkled, you can still kind of thug it out. It kind of shows. I mean, I, mm. Air Force One once they get yeah, wrinkled. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Once those crease yeah, up, yeah. it's it's all you might as well throw them away. Um, and surprisingly, these aren't going for a lot of money. Yeah, they actually were pretty decent. Uh. Resale price. What they retail for? Like what? One sixty. Mm. I think I seen them going for like two hundred. So t- ain't too uh, bad. One sixty for Air Force One. Mm. Yeah, that's too much for my mm-hmm. blood. Mm-hmm. You know they do collaborations. Uh, that's, that's still too much for my blood. I, I'm not, I'm not a kingpin. So oh, you mm. the CEO of Pepsi? What are you talking about? <clears throat> Very modest in the yeah. way in which I choose to live my oh, life. Yeah, he's CEO of Coke. That's great. You sell, he sells Coke. You sell Pepsi. That's a great dynamic. <laughs> it's amazing That's how great, we're able to get along. Great. I was yeah, really yeah. hoping he forgot that joke. Yeah. He told it like two weeks ago. Great, the great dynamic you guys have. Well, uh, number three, we have the Air Jordan Retro Twelve Utility. Now, I'm actually surprised that people went after these the way they did. Like, because yeah, it don't, it don't matter sell. no more now. It really doesn't. Yeah. I agree with you. It all the utility sell the four sold. The uh, four, I can't even remember the four utilities. The fours were blue. They look like the Eminem fours a little bit. Well, hell, the last. Oh one. Yeah, 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 yeah. The other utility twelve sold. The all black Ooh, one. Yeah, yeah the all black one did. So. I mean, shit, that one was with almost that like a, it was like a boot. Yeah, it was like the wool. On but it. that's what that, that was the purpose yeah. of it is to get you a Jordan to wear in the winter, which was yeah. dope because you know. But is, why, see, my only problem is why have that ice bottom though. I think that made of, it looks like it's made out of recycled material in person when I looked at it. Oh, so it's not really translucent? No, no, no. It looks like it's made out of recycled material. I oh, could okay. be wrong, but that's the, how it appears. When you look at all the other recycled material shoes, mm-hmm. they got that same like particles in it and stuff like that. I wasn't mad at these. I just, I don't know, man. I just don't find, like, I feel like I just kind of like half-ass shoot my shot for stuff. I don't know if it's just because I'm just so used to just kind of like not getting the shoes. So it's just like, eh. I'm going to try, but not really. So you treat her like an ugly girl when you're trying to get some. That's not like dunks. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, no, he puts, he puts so. in full effort. No, no, okay. That's, <laughs> Damn. that's different. Y'all terrible. Uh, that's how you feel. How, 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 how am I about part of the y'all you? terrible? I didn't say he said it. Because you provoked him knowing yeah, that. Yeah, I kind of did. Weird, All right, so. I'll take, I take, I take blame for it. <laughs> uh, that's why he's not here right now. Dealing with his fat chicks. Anyway, uh, Android and 12... <laughs> Smothered, yeah. Smothered like pork chops and gravy. Yeah, this is why y'all the worst. <laughs> he couldn't get her carry out and get here on time. So, uh, but no, these utility uh, Jordan twelves. <laughs> terrible. Not terrible. Gino, forever the worst. Here. Forever the worst. I can't wait for the day you have a press conference and apologize for all your remarks. Who said I'm apologizing? Who? Who's who got to see? Who? I ain't say. She got. He got to pick up her takeout. She gets smothered. I ain't say her name. No, he said smothered. <laughs> <laughs> he Who said don't he like smothered terrible. pork chops? I mean, I'm just saying. That's, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I'm just saying. He might call her a smothered pork chop. So. It's like a weighted blanket. But no, I, wow. It, see what I'm talking about? He's start, he's, he's, he's <laughs> Don't blame me. It's, it's Gino's fault. He's making me do it. I mean, if she's like a weighted blanket, she keep them warm. Okay, well, I'll say. Okay, huh? Yeah. It's crazy when you take a car to the shop and you only need to replace the shocks on one side of the car. And you, <laughs> you got you, you. You've been holding knees in the chamber. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I swear no, you have been. Like you been holding knees in the nah, chamber, dude. Nah, he be watching Six Hundred Pound Life and he's incorporating those women with the <laughs> ones she with dunks wear. That dunks it is, dating. I just want people to know it is my goal to make Stick laugh at least one time mm, during the show. So. That's, that's, Mission man, accomplished. Look, I, I swear to God, man, you done, <laughs> you, you, done, you done loaded the clip. 
and it's just sitting there. No, you right, sitting you on the right, table. I'm telling you, if I was I that mean, man, you what, robbing. I mean, that's what he does. That's what drug dealers. You do, right you know there, right? Man, you right there with me, bro. I handed you. The gun. I was gonna say, yeah. I was gonna say, you put the bullets in for me. I just shot it. Uh, now get back to these Jordan Twelves, though. Like these, these I, I'm cool. not mad. At them. I'm just surprised, though. Like honestly, I I took interest in them. I wouldn't say they was like high on my list, but it was one of those things. Was like, you know, if I can get them, if I can, you know, if not, yeah, no loss. Um, but the amount of hype, though. I mean, but to your point, everything has hype now, so. I mean, it doesn't matter what I should, Jordan I should, I should is. I shouldn't be too surprised. Even certain Jordan Jordan one mids now seem to you know get people excited. So no, I mean Man, look, they be, I, they be selling too, right? Oh, I'll cover no, them. no, they, oh, I, they, they oh, shit on them so listen. tough, but yet they all sell out. They so sell. it's like shout out to the people that genuinely love Air Jordan one mids. I personally don't like them, but it's so funny. Like there's two cl- types of people: the people that hate Jordan one mids and people that absolutely love them. And I, I love the back and forth between. So you hate sides. them? I don't say I hate them. I just don't well, care you just said there's two people. So there's two, two sides. People are I'm you? like an outlier. I just don't so, care. I'm so you're not a person. I'm indifferent. No, okay, whatever. I don't care. Like I don't. I couldn't even tell you which Air Jordan mids. They came make some out. nice colorways though. They make yeah, some I feel like they nice, experiment they, they, more they with do, the mids than they do with the ones. They make some nice colorways. I don't like when people say, "Oh, you got no one. You got mids. You, I got highs." Like, but he actually wore mids. So. <laughs> like that makes you a better class of people. I mean, <laughs> but it's like he wore the mids in the game like before, so it's just right. like you can't even down. Them. But not the mids as they're constructed now. I mean, some of the mids they put that they used to put together, like when they did the uh, like the, the shoes, armed the forces ones? pack, like. That was both those were hard, like, and they were mm-hmm. Jordan One mids. They did the uh, when they was doing the uh, the Black History Month stuff. They used Jordan One mids. I think it was one year. What's the, uh, what's the one year? Uh, damn it, I can't think of it. But they yeah. all blur together. It's all can't think yeah. of. Well, no, nah, that was a 2017. They were they were all they were black, all black with, with the, the, the tan swoosh, and then yeah. they had another year before that was black with the Kente. Oh, yeah, that's and the then it was break. like 2015. Yeah. They used the Air Jordan One High and made it all re- three and reflective with like the speckled blue and highlighter green. And they so, did one. Uh, what was the Jordan One that had the strap? The Jordan oh, One yeah, with the strap. Yeah, they yeah. they had did one one with those too. So I called you up, man. I know you know. But um. I don't have no, I don't really have no beef on. They make, they go pretty. Dope. I just, I mean, I'm, I'm just not a fan of how people bash the Jordan One mids. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I don't so do that. tough. I got better things to do than bash that shit. <clears throat> yeah, like bash dunks or pay them badges. Okay. Off. Where she bash? No, my. Uh, <laughs> Come on, I'm trying Utah, to be good. I'm trying to be Utah, good. you coming out? I'm to- <laughs> <laughs> Utah, you coming out? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh boy, I'm just Man, saying. You got them loaded in the chamber with the pistol peak jersey yeah, on, but, so it only makes yeah, sense. I'm just yeah. saying, dog. I'm being. I'm trying to be nice. Y'all make it. See y'all. Y'all. Y'all bad you influences. Nothing, man. You got a lot of self control over there. Y'all man. bad y'all influences, bro. Pick and roll like Stockton and Malone. I'm just saying, when all your pants have elastic waist, you, that's, that's, <laughs> who pants got elastic waist? <laughs> those girlfriends. Uh, number two, <laughs> Whoa. out of control. Out of control. Out they could of be control. pregnant all the time. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. is that possible? Pregnant with a food baby. Uh, number two, we <sighs> have the Air Jordan Retro Four Lightning. Once again, I, you know what? As a matter of fact, I didn't even shoot for these. I they were nice. I like them. I told myself to be, you know, to be aware of the time. You know, I think it was like nine thirty, and then next thing I know is ten thirty, and you know, at that point, I mean, they sell out in a minute, let alone a half hour or so. And for some strange reason, I don't even miss it. Like I don't even. Yeah, I'm like indifferent. Like I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Look at you self reflecting. I'm just like I don't know what's wrong. Like I don't even care. You gonna like, get you some monarchs? No, I didn't get anything. Oh, you know what I did get? Some monarchs. I did get something this to weekend. go with your Utah Jazz. No, nah, I didn't get any monarchs. F- fuck you. <laughs> I didn't get any monarchs. Uh, Adidas had a restock. You got some Yeezys? No, hell no. Nah. Uh, hey, look, like, I wasn't that desperate for some shoes. I mean, Listen, never know. You might. You no, know. nah, I got um, I got the Overkill joints, the ZX eighty five hundreds. Okay. And then I got the Sean Wetherspoons. What superstars or ZX? The ZX. Okay. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna shoot. I, these. I, I like the ZX more than the superstar. I like the. I'm I do too. ZX is just the frame not material. Just no. I'm, I'm gonna cut it, that off. Doesn't, uh, doesn't that ain't, do that ain't my style. The, the, I like the look of the ZX too. I'm a, you know, I'm just, a, the ZXs are uncomfortable to me. That's what turns me. You off said they are. They're uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable. 
Yeah, we had a lot of those back in one time. Oh, I, 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 I like the and I like the Z. They were it. comfortable for me. No, Damn it, yeah, no. No, you know, I'm glad you did tell me. Now you know. I mean, you can try for yourself. I mean, you are 15, so your play edition might be modified. But I'm just saying, it's like, gonna come it with different inso. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? These sons of bitches. It's hyper adapt. You gotta get his battery changed at AutoZone. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was that was cute. <laughs> oh, man, I swear to God, Guru would be thinking of jokes all week just to like. I, no, no, right. that was just came off the top. This, no, you know it's funny. I kept looking at the show. I was like, I gotta come up with one. I got, I got that to. Was, it was then he beat me to the punch though. A demo, them questions look like a SAT, uh, ACT. Or this is every question. Right I ain't gonna lie to you. This is what made our road trips fun. Because me and Guru, see, that's why I say Guru is the worst. Because the this is why Guru is the worst. Because I at least admit I'm horrible. Like, Guru is secretly horrible. I'm but then not, we'll try to come on the show and convince y'all. I'm not secretly of horrible. And then secretly you, if you're going to say I'm horrible, no, you, have who to have, my Guru? you have to who have are, convincing no, no, no. and substantial evidence to say I'm horrible. Answer this question. And even when I try to our be, conversations? And when I try to be horrible, you take it to another level. No. Every time we go on a road trip, Guru would be right there mm-hmm. in, my, in, my, in my mess. And we would talk so much shit. So doesn't that make you the worst because you started and it's your mess? But at least I own it. I'm saying he's the worst because he's trying to act like uh-huh. he's not a, he, he doesn't participate in that type of stuff. I don't. I comment on what I see, and then you take Bruh. it to levels of extreme. You know Bruh. what I'm saying? That's All I'm it. saying is there was a few times where we had to be told, Yo, chill out. Because <laughs> he was going. Oh, that was only that one time because of that. No, it was more than one time. <laughs> no, that was. That no, that was, was, that that was, was the, the most significant time. No, it was that more was, than that one time. That was due to something else. But nah. But like <laughs> I said, but you, but you, but you had the, you got the rating reviews. You have the beast with other people. Like you have no, the, review the resume you. to be. I don't have no bad reviews. Because they ain't named you by name. We know who it was. No, it's not. You have to name me by <laughs> that's name. That's like me being bro. like. That's like me being like a former uh, president with orange hair. I ain't got to say his name you know what i'm talking but about. but here's my thing though but no one says it though because you say racial things too so you can't just say oh it's just i've cool. never mimicked asian voices <laughs> but you've done other i've never mimicked asian voices yeah, either. I'm, you know i swear to god Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you never you never did asian voices? no i gave you the correct nah, dialogue nah, 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 that what was said so in wouldn't factory. that be mimicking no because it was the exact dialogue Mimicking is attempting to copy so you know something Vietnamese. Hmm? You speak fluent Vietnamese. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you a lying racist. That's, hey, that's even worse. Hey, 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 if he didn't laugh, if he didn't laugh, he would have really convinced himself <laughs> too, bro. <laughs> That, you, so, know, so, man, you the most dishonest racist out there. Hey, man, I'm not racist, bro. I just, I'm just pro. Black. I don't mean I'm racist. You go out your way per your reviews. You may even I'm an equal opportunity at offender. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you may stick, stick up because of black times, huh? man. So what you turn off. Why sticking to it? I was like, what was that? Gallstones? You said only white guys get gallstones. It's like, no. <laughs> you I said. Was, that was yeah, mistaken. You I attacked me. You did attack the racist. Yes. Off medical. Because of my experience. Off your medical male practice. Only people. No, you don't want to go to hell. No, no, we've seen, we seen that meme. Hey, yeah. look, hey, I don't discriminate. Do, do, do the pose. I don't discriminate. Do the pose. I get them all. No, okay, hold on. As far as the gallstones thing, I was incorrect in my assumption because anybody that I knew that had gallstones were all white. So I just like, okay, well, based on my experience, your medical male practice. I ain't got no medical male. That's you. You the doctor. Well, I saw, so I'm a drug selling doctor. Well, okay, I guess that was. What else would you think? Like, as I said it out loud, like, <laughs> doctors do prescribe drugs. As I said it out loud, I and they're like, also incentivized to push certain drugs. Which not cocaine, though, according to you. Uh, I mean, oxy, they don't push heroin, but oxycodone well, is the, like synthesized when, heroin. So, when I mean. the plug gives you something on consignment, you know, you might be like, yeah, I make a little bit more extra money if I go ahead and push this. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway, stick about races. <laughs> thank exactly. you, but thank you. That's true. Mm. But I will say, black white power song has a little bit different tone than black power. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, hey, I can. He admits to it. Yeah, he, he knows. That's what I like to say. Yeah. And shout out to Stick. I swear to God, Stick. 
I want I want America to know this. Like this dude knows every lyric to every rap. Like it is it's bizarre. He's like a savant when it comes to rap, and it's like and it's like so weird coming from him. It is. I mean, that's what makes him cool, though. That's what makes. How was it weird that a white guy knows rap lyrics? You ever been to a concert in the last ten years? No, actually, nah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I was say, <laughs> yeah. 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 Especially but, the Wayne concerts and Kanye concerts. Nah, I mean, yeah. I go farther than that. Like, I went to the, a Benny the Butcher concert. I was outnumbered. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Well, it's a lot of drug use going on there. So, mm-hmm. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of pills being popped. A lot of heroin probably getting shot. Look at you look at, look at, look there, at, look at C. He's like, man, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, look, he could burn man here. <laughs> What I saw that to be a vendor. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, with friends like y'all. Uh, number one, we have the Alayli May special edition Air Drunk Retro 14 Low See, Fortune. Thank you. That's all I want. No, I mean, honestly, <clears throat> as far as Jordan's uh, collaborations, this is the collab of the year for Jordan's. I was going to yeah. say, in my opinion, this is the best shoe that's going to come out this entire year. I'm going to go with that. I'm a co-signer. And I, I said that from the minute I'm they announced, that. like, that she was going to do another, she had another collab on the way, and it was going to be a Jordan 14. Yeah. I was like, she's not going to fail. And then when I saw kind of like what the color scheme was going to look like, I was like, oh, yeah, she's going to no, knock this, this out the park. By far the dopest. And it's funny, because I think Sneaker Buddy Drake posted a thing on Instagram. Like, they had, like, all the Jordan collabs this year, <clears> the trophy <throat> rooms, which I don't know why anybody would vote for that. Uh, but they had the, both unions and... The Travis Scotts and I'm like this by far blows everything else out the water. Like, mm. it, there's a sizable gap between one and two. I actually, I actually want to get a pair for myself. Like seriously, low key, yeah, that and the lipstick pair. I don't want to get the lipstick pair. That black and man, shit, you the only one there because I want them. You want lipstick? I want the shoes, dummy. Mm-hmm. Just, I just, just ask the question. Uh, that's that's a, that's a very about. nice shoe. So far, it is in my like top five of shoes. I don't know if it blows everything out the water. Jordan collabs, Jordan collabs, yes, because I just like to me. I like. Well, the what me- do you think is better? I, to me, it's like it's it's hard to pick because like this. I like how she gave the marbleized look with the nails and all that. Like I body, how they really let her embody a woman's you know inspiration with that shoe. I also like the. The threes from the uh, the company down in I'm Atlanta. I'm in year. I'm in year. Yeah, yeah. But I like the message behind. It. I like the black. Like, but see, cause... see, to your point though, I think this had a better rollout for the woman. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it did. I mean, because this is one person versus a store, so the rollout's going to be different. So that's to me. And then, um, the the to me, I but you would think, I moved, you would think I, the store had more control though of the rollout. Yeah, but it's just different because they selling the person the inspiration versus selling the stores. Theme along with the product and our, it was more with the clothing yeah, and everything too. I so, see that. Um, but I mean, I like to me removing the hype. I do like the Travis Scott fives because I love that PlayStation kind of color theme. So I like the PG five. So fives. I like that. So to me, I just like all of those. I mean, did you say Travis Scott fives? I mean, I said the PlayStation like the PlayStation theme. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So like that white, black, and blue. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I, I enjoy that colorway. So when I see it on the Jordan ones, like I really like the shoe. I don't like the you don't know, care for the hype and the people who boost it. But I mean, I just it's, it's hard for me. It weighs. And then I like the Union. I like the Union form because I like clothes. I call it, this shoe is different. What, how can I put an outfit together? So when it has three different colors, I say, okay, I can make these two colors a primary color in my shirt and make this an accent color. It just gives me, from a fashion sense, like more gives challenging something thing. to work You know with. what I'm saying? So like a yeah. USA color shoe, like, okay, we, I can do something real easy. But when a shoe like that, it yeah. forces me to diversify my wardrobe. So that's just from my perspective. Right. But it's I'm, a double shoe. I would never, if someone said oh, yeah. that was their favorite collab, no, I, I don't think anybody here doesn't like it. Yeah, no, I wouldn't It's a dope it. shoe. I thought the execution was great. You know, from what I heard, the quality is A1. The story behind it is dope. Uh, the rollout, that to me was like key. Like, just to see all the women. And it was cool because it seemed like even like the brands or at least some of the stores and the boutiques kind of uh, made sure they got in the hands of women. That's why I got to get a pair on the, on the resale market. I mean, yeah. But it just seemed like most women... That one of them got them, yeah, and it was good, sure. like to just see post after post after post of the women. I mean, because it was you know, it was for them, made by yeah. women. So shout out to Lady May. The shoe is dope as hell. I mean, she running with it, man. Like, I mean, <clears> hey. <throat> and then uh, the other thing I like about it too is you know, shout out to her for, I I I'm assuming it's her that chose which silhouette 
But shout out to choosing the fourteen. Fourteen that's logo. A, yeah, that's a very, very seldomly used, especially yeah. for a collab. Yeah. Collab wise, we're usually what anywhere one through five. It's gonna be a one, a four. Or, you know, I mean, I'm mm, guessing if they had a choice, yeah, they keep it in the mess. One, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. They keep it with the Sixes, more popular sevens, models. Barely eight, sometimes collabing. Yeah, nine is not really. So, I mean, the user. Yeah. I mean, that's why. Tens, the that, that, that's why, like, even with the the uh, the the, 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 the Billy Eilish, on on paper, I heard. Using the fifteen sounds good, but you know when after she after seeing what she see did with that what one, it looks I'm like, like yeah, I ain't got much like, hope. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and I would I would say this though because Lately May is actually somebody who is like that was or was into sneakers, so her getting this opportunity and running with it is to me was dope about uh, you know the industry or the community. Like the you brought up Billie Eilish, like that to me is representative of. When brands sometimes just say, "Hey, you're famous here. Here's your shoe." Like, it's just, like let's I calm mean, down. I think I think with them going to her is that's just trying to piggyback off of the hype that Travis Scott got. So I mean, they look at you know Billy Eilish is saying, "Okay, well, who's kind of like that next person that we can kind of attach ourselves to?" <laughs> but that was who you thought of. I mean, I mean, still they still like I said, I'm you, still you big. gotta you gotta look at where that following is at. I mean, that's a, a international following, so that's not just U.S. based. That's everywhere. No, I understand that. I'm just saying not everything translates to everything. Like just because this person is I mean, like I said, they could if you if you wonder who you're gonna get a collab to, I mean Wale and Fat Joe both you gave them samples, why not allow them to have official release? Wale has sold shoes with other brands, so you he has that try work. You make all these PEs for Fat Joe, why not get some of your money back? From making them peas for them because they cost you, and having him produce a shoe, you know what I'm saying? He has a relationship with Michael Jordan, like it makes sense. No, I you know what I'm saying like that. J- <laughs> so I just did an interview this week with the uh, is a podcast um, that deals with marketing and whatnot, and that was one of the topics of conversation was authenticity. Like a lot of these brands, they see like the Travis Scotts, they see the Kanyes, and they try to replicate it by just uh, whoring themselves out to any celebrity that I have them. And to me, like, that's how you dilute the product, if anything. And it's like it no longer becomes special or unique when you just, here's a shoe, here's a shoe, here's a shoe. Everybody gets a shoe. And it's like if you actually took the time to make the right connections, authentic connections, to your point, the Wale's and the, the Fat Joe's. I mean, you're giving them shoes anyway. Like, to, like why not just drop? You dropped it. You ended up dropping those same shoes, like the We The Best Threes. Like, you ended up basically <laughs> dropping them without the back heel. You could have dropped that. I think that would have. Imagine that shoe actually came out. I think it would have did well. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but but you gotta. <laughs> but again, look look at who the people that are in those meetings Power making those positions. decisions. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're not people that are actually attached to the culture. Yeah. And my thing is, you could really like do <clears throat> if you could really do like a celebrity demographic pack. We'll let Wale do a foam or a Nike boot, right? Because no one's I think has anyone collabed on a Nike boot before. Nike boot, yeah, Supreme. the ACJ, the ACJ, yeah, Supreme. Supreme I, honestly, Supreme is I'm the only. I'm talking about Goldon. Supreme did, they did a Goldon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, they, they, they yeah. did the Goldon where they just slapped Supreme on it. Oh, but nah, but like that's not real. But I'm just like and they did him, that snake skin kind of. Oh, but boy. that that would have been yeah. a dope. You can do like an Air Force One or whatever or Jordan Eight with Fat Joe. There, what's in, name? In my opinion, there's no reason why Fat Joe doesn't have an Air Force One. That, like that, you, you gave could, Clark Kent, <laughs> DJ Clark Kent, enough collabs. You can't give Fat Joe one. That I, I mean, agree. those I mean, you can go West Coast and give like um, somebody out there like an artist. I mean, they did Kendrick. They had something rolling with that Cortez, and they just let it fizzle at the React element. So I'm like, you could have kept the ball rolling on that one. But I mean, you can go down south. You can let um, one of those Southern artists from Texas or somebody do a shoot. Like he's a sneaker person as well. Like in Atlanta, you can let them do something. Like you could do a geographical collab with somebody, and it would make sense. I, it will be nice if people in Detroit were actually able to get Carhartt Eminem fours because Carhartt is heavy here. Eminem is from here. Like that made sense to allow us to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That would have been. What well, I'm, I'm I'm actually curious to know like why there isn't more partnership between Carhartt and Nike to be able to produce more kind of like not necessarily like premium footwear, but more like collaborate collaborative footwear. 
Like, why is there not more, like, every so often they do, like, a Carhartt Air Force One? They do, like, what you said, like, with a Nike boot. Like, why are they not doing, you know, Nike Go Domes? Like, well, I kind of know a little bit of inside Because I that. feel like they got the ACG line, and to do more Carhartt would take away from the ACG line? No, nah, It's actually both, both sides are kind of responsible because, so there's Carhartt and there's Carhartt Whip. Right, the work yeah, work in progress. Yeah, right. yeah that's so the Carhartt one that's more Whip lifestyle. That, yeah, yeah, Carhartt Whip is actually the 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 sub brand that does the collaboration. Yeah. Carhartt itself, they 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 don't collaborate with people for whatever reason. Carhartt Whip is, to Guru said, the lifestyle brand, um, and so there's both this, both of them, you know, because I know Carhartt Whip wants to like you to like, you know, like certain shoes, like the they wanted to make it more. Uh, workable. Like they, the collab or the collab they did do mm-hmm. with the Air Maxes and the Air Force Ones, they wanted to make it. Sh- they wanted to make the shoes actually wearable on a job site, but obviously Nike's not going to let them because you know they're not about to make new modes to make this within the specs because there's a lot that goes into it. Like the the sole has to be so thick and you know puncture proof and slip resistant and all that other shit that you got to be on a construction site. So but they want to do that, but that. they'll spend a whole mold to send to make five shoes and send them out. No, I agree with you. I'm just saying. Like, I mean, they but, do it with the Kobe's for the basketball players. Plus, imagine the market that you could tap into. I mean, I'm just saying there there are no fashionable. Well, yeah, like, but with Nike you know, too, though. Like you know, there's boots. this there's this level of arrogance. We talked about it. Well, we kind of talked about it. Y'all just haven't heard it yet. That'd be next week. Anyway. You know, there's a level of arrogance where it's like we're the swoosh, we're the brand, you know, we're the money maker, we're the name recognition. So y'all get in line, you know, we're only gonna give you so much leeway with our stuff. And so it kind of makes it hard to collaborate with them and sometimes, you know, like the Travis Scotts, you know, for whatever reason, you know, he gets free reign. Like it is funny who gets free reign and who doesn't. Because that was part of the reason why Drake wanted to leave, right? Like he wanted to be able to do some things and they told him no. You know. Um, and so, then came back and let him have his own line, but like to to let them have his own line, apparel line though. Like, yeah, and then, and then to the shoe selection is just like how you go from Jordan eights and twelves and tens to some of the foot, <laughs> you know, some of the footwear choices is just like hey, something. Man, that, his, hey, his shoe look like a K Swiss. Oh, speaking of ugly shoes, ugliest sneaker of the week. Uh, actually, I caught on the Audible. It was going to be uh, that acid wash dunks. I thought those were horrible. But Really? Yeah. You sound crazy. No, I, no, no, I'm horrible. Acid wash but dunks there was the worst shoe that came out in the last two weeks, and that's those Jeremy Scott special edition Adidas Forum Wings 1.0 Money. Really? After, if you take off the wing, they're not bad. Yeah. That's what I think that's what makes it horrible for me. Nah, the wing. And plus, you know what I think of? I instantly think of that gold one that he had like a few years ago. was that? 2000 and but you remember the wing is not bad. I can't yeah, this I can't is, I can't shit on bad. this. These are bad. Wow. No, wait, 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 wait. So you like so you don't like the bad bunny joints, but you like these. Yeah. Wow. I like those. Wow, bro. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. I guess it's not the, the get a collaboration and just do an all black shoe. Mm. I think that's well, his favorite. first collaboration though. He did I'm talking about as far as that colorway. Like when you get a collaboration, I'm not giving an all black show. I agree with you. Step, you know. I agree with you. All black is pretty simplistic. Yeah. But once again, mm-hmm. we know how the brands be well, Adidas kinda does get more I yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, you he talking he Nike, I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah, that Adidas makes sense. But Adidas leeway. Adidas basically be it like does get more leeway. Here go the color Well no, nah, because they held uh what's the name back? Tommy. Tommy who? Here. Tommy um, Strong? Detroit oh, Rosé Tommy it. Walker. Yeah. Oh, that's what that. Oh, yeah, we did. We did talk about that many, yeah. many shows. That form, ago. They, not the form, the top 10 they did. Yeah, but like, I feel like that's a different, that's a they different still situation. Have three colors, though. Did they? <laughs> he got, he had. Did they? It was the what? Black, 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 red. It was black, white, and red, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah white, but black. Did, that's orange. what I'm saying. Did they? Because we all know they got shoes that they. They unsure about, and those are the shoes. I think sometimes. when it comes to the trade market, they didn't want to let him off the leash because we kind of, and this is what I've been told too by somebody. Where it's like we kind of just buy the same thing over and over. So when if somebody says, "Hey, let yeah, me try," you keep giving this, us the same thing over and over. But even when we got a couple things, we buy with the like same thing. We buy the same Air Force Ones all and over. Even when the, what, you, what unique like shoe have the, we got like here? Like the Pharrell NMDs came about and other things what you like mean, that. What unique shoe have we gotten? I mean, I'm talking about here specific, like in Detroit, like that have come out here. Like it's very few rare spots. Some of those burn rubber uh, collabs. That's what I'm saying. Like very few. I mean, that honestly, that might be like the only one that really comes to mind because everything else. 
is, oh, yeah, they did is, get the Yeezy two release here. The, that uh, was what one years. store, two store, well, two stores. Yeah, two stores. What was the other store? Bur- Puffer Reds and Burn Rubber. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I forgot about Puffer Reds. They be yeah. getting yeah. some stuff. Yeah, too, man, so. come on, man, don't sleep on my people. They man. used to get some stuff. I don't they know if they do. still get. They still do. They still don't sleep on my people, man. Shout out to Puffer Reds. They still take care of me. I could have got the lightnings if I wanted them, but I didn't want them. Oh, okay. yeah. You the plug now, huh? <laughs> nah. You got the juice. No, nah, you, you, you a different type of you plug than I am. You a different type of plug than I am. Nah, you could call it just search protector C's. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but nah. I, I just feel like even when I look like the Simpsons, the Simpsons collabs, the front and on these, they sold over time gradually. It's just little stuff in here I know that's like, I ain't buy that, but y'all bought these same shoes over and over again. So, I mean. I was real close to getting those Duff form lows, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. Was, uh, though, I like the uh Because them lows the just me. Well, which ones were those? Those had the slushy, the, the quickie mark joints on them. And oh, they had okay, the, yeah, the, the yeah, bottom yeah, real, yeah. So You wasn't feeling they, the Ned Flanders joints? Did they drop yet? I don't I don't think they did. The pair was nice. <laughs> no, I kind of want to get it just because just it's funny to me. Like, the thing that Ned Flanders is his own shoe. It's only right. No, it's only. I mean, if you're gonna yeah. do a Simpsons collab, yeah. yeah, it's only yeah. Right. By the time Flanders get some love. <laughs> oh man, what's ah oh, dang? It was a quote that he said when he was talking about unemployment. Who Ned like, Flanders? Yeah. He was just like, yeah. Sometimes people just don't want to work. God bless them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh uh, man. Anyway, uh, there is a story that I wanted to get but into. But he don't work, huh? But he doesn't work. Yeah, does Ned Flanders even have a he job? Does have, he doesn't. He doesn't work. Works. Where? Where? I don't know. The Leptorium. Oh yeah, the, in in the mall. Yeah. What is the Leptorium? That's the store in the mall where everything is left handed. <laughs> Duh. That, that's never, where. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, that is I've, legit I've where he works. So, man, so, so he he does. knows everything about everything. No, he, I he does because. Like, Cause there's an episode I think like Lisa and Bart went into the mall and they went in there. He's like and he's working yeah. in there. He's like walking guru. Well, I've never seen. I've always seen he's him. He's white home. guru. I, I know yeah, more dumb facts yeah, than no, you ever no. will imagine in your life. If you ever need like ridiculous. if you ever need somebody for uh, you know those stupid games that they play, the, yeah. just I, I'm your guy, man. Oh, that's how we go on the road trip. We gotta bring a stick. We gonna play those games. We gonna <laughs> yeah, you've been kill promising anybody. road trips for two and a half years. <clears throat> <clears throat> It has been a pandemic, though. I yeah. don't want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both of you guys got we turned went, you jets. Was in, we was in Ohio? <laughs> Do you remember the last time we was in Ohio? So, yeah, definitely not that. You ain't about, no, to, give me, we you ain't about to give me cancel. Was, <laughs> that, I have never seen Guru laugh so hard in my life. It, it was, he was laughing so hard, it was hard to focus. I, I was trying to focus Ooh. and get... Well, when y'all was checking in? Yes, man. I wasn't there for that. Let's just say there was... A rally going on the same weekend whoa. as Secret Con. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And whoa. they were. It was funny because it was pulling up. They I'm were, like, is it? They were, they were they they were typing, on, I typing on iTunes right now, they reviews. Go ahead. Listen, look, we're pulling up to the hotel. And I'm like, is there a rodeo? Like in town? Like, you know, I'm like, man, like everybody's wearing chaps. And then we get into What the hotel, hotel did y'all stay at? Uh, not that far away from the convention center, like literally like a block away or something. So did I. Man, they was there. I mean, you had a penthouse, so. I mean, mine did overlook the uh, the Cleveland Brown Stadium. Well, there you go. Yeah, you know the what's that? I think what's that? Is you that the Pepsi hold, Executive hold, Suite? Hold up, sticks, since you got useless information, is that Lake Erie that their, their stadium sits on? Yeah, so the mistake I, by the lake. Yep. So I was, you know, I could see the lake somewhere else. Well, we yeah. we couldn't see the lake, but we saw some other stuff, and the, you know, we didn't want to see necessarily. And Guru almost fell down laughing, and he had tears in his eyes. And like I'm trying to like look at the um, the guy you know on the other side of the counter, and like I'm trying to like focus so I can check in and get in our room. And he's done. I mean, it, whoa, it, it was that kind of rally? Like it wasn't even a rally going on. It was just oh. they were all in the lobby. It, it was, we gonna go, go you just go yeah. to the next. Set. <laughs> we don't want to. Hey, look, they like to cancel people. We I'm don't want to get canceled. Real <laughs> flamboyant. I am hey, over hey, here. Hey, 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 we, you know, we not gonna get into it. Right. Like I said, all I'm gonna say is that I'm gonna hey, look at this. Look. There was a dude in a fox mask running <laughs> around. I don't like. What is going on? He knows what I'm talking about. He, he, he was, whoever this person was in the fox mask, they wanted to be. They wanted to remain faceless, bro. 
Maybe they were someplace where they weren't supposed to be at. I kind of feel like we were trying to figure out why why y'all stay there. Spe- no, I didn't know they was gonna be there. <laughs> but speaking of places, <laughs> speaking of places we shouldn't have been at that pizza place we went to later that night. Guru, you didn't go with us, Guru, did you? Nah, I went and had soul food yeah, at an yeah. establishment downtown. Yeah, 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 me and Guru, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. that soul food was shout fire. Out to Buckeye. Oh, well, I wish. Me, shout out to Buckeye. Buckeye City Soul, me and him, and um, I'm trying to remember who else. We went to this pizza place and it was right uh, across the street. Oh, your man's unboxed. He was was it you. Mike? Yeah, he was yeah, with okay. you. Yeah, he was with you. Yeah. He, <laughs> so when is, when is a sneaker con in Cleveland this year? It's what, in October? I know they got Chicago coming up. Chicago's next month. Is Cleveland in October? I don't know. Are we going? Are we going to that? You really want to go on a road trip? I guess not to not to Ohio though. But I know that's like the worst. I'm telling you, I, we get a lot. We get the one thing about Sneaker Con in Cleveland is we get like a huge response when we go there. It's just outside of the event. Usually when we go on road trips, we look forward to outside of the event. We look forward to hanging out in the well, city. That, well, that time we went, that Sunday we had dinner and we watched the game. It was pretty, you know, lit down because cool. it was downtown playoff game. But, but I kind of feel like we lucked into that. But uh, but most times when we go somewhere, is you know, the city is the focal point. Right. Like, we can't wait to the event is over so we can hang out. Whereas well, I mean, look at the United Cleveland States. is the opposite. It's, it's like not too many. The New highlight York. is the event. It's not too many New Yorks, Dallas's, Los Angeles, Chicago. That's <laughs> gonna name that every city in the saying? country outside of Cleveland. Yeah, that sneaker con kind of goes through like three times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Year. So it's, like, it's not that many cities like that's gonna draw that. That gonna have that draw like that for. Name real. another city that was whack as Cleveland. I didn't have no problem with Cleveland. Uh, where do we go? I haven't been. Only been what five six. We didn't. I didn't go to Phoenix. I didn't go to Phoenix. I heard people no. say it was cool. It wasn't like it was a lot of stuff to do. But right, really in Phoenix. Hmm. From what I heard from people, yeah, it was cool. It be Even Fort Lauderdale had more things. To do. I mean, it is oh, but Florida, it's down the so. street yeah, from Miami, so that that's true. Right. That's true. The beach is <laughs> right there. Yeah, that's true. So, but it's more of like a retirement. And then California is a cheat code because it's San Fran, oh, you know, Los saying, Angeles, right? or you yeah. got. I mean, San Jose, the Bay Area. Right? Yeah, so California, <laughs> a whole cheat code. No matter where you go, yeah. No Even matter. when we had to like stay like three hours up a mountain, it was still dope. Can yeah. Sneaker Con go to Vegas? Or had they've been to Vegas before? Haven't they? I want to say once. I want Maybe once. I, I think so. They came here. Once. I would definitely go there. They had one. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, look, Sneaker Con. If y'all listening, what's your man's name? Allen. Allen. Vegas. Nah, what's my, what's up well, whoever that? running that shit, nah. Vegas. Nah, my man's who be hooking us up at the event every time. Will. Will, Will run that? Yeah. Well, Will. He's one of the people. Vegas. Shout Come on, man. Let's see Vegas. Anyway, uh, there's a story I did want to get into before our interview. Um, so, y'all guys remember the story about Alberto uh, Salazar? Mm. The coach that was like abusing his female athletes and stuff. Oh, we got a follow up. Yes. Oh boy. So you guys remember? You got you familiar with that story? The Michigan State? No, not Michigan State. No, it was. He, it was, was like the Oregon Project or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was the the, uh, the 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 young ladies that ran track. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Track team. Yeah. And and he had, he was getting a building. He got a building and they had the protest. Yep. 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 Okay. So okay. So Nike is now renaming the Alberto Salazar building well, after he receives a lifetime ban. We talked about that a year ago, right? Yes. It took that long. I just, I just, I'm just asking questions. I just, I don't get it. I like, mean, dog, you know, I'm gonna read the story, but I'm gonna tell you. I mean, it kind of pisses me off that it took this long and it took this for them to make the decision because you didn't have to dedicate a building to this dude, right? Like you didn't have to wait for anything like y'all didn't wait for uh, an official ruling on uh neymar oh yeah right you know cut, what i'm saying cut so, his I mean, contract with the quickness and that was just you know, this to me was more simple this was simpler this was more proven too yeah i mean yeah. they tell you the athletes are telling you this is what happened right yeah so, you, uh, whatever. Anyway, an article written by Sashi Cement, shout out to her, for Footwear News. Nike is renaming the Alberto Salazar building on the campus in Beaverton. Uh, Nike is renaming the building following a July ruling from the U.S. Center for Safe Sport that banned the former Nike coach from long distance running. Why specifically long distance? It should just be from running, just from sports, bro. Uh, Alberto, a former coach with Nike's Oregon Project, was banned, which is subject to appeal. Uh, citing sexual and emotional misconduct. 
Nike said in a statement, this change follows the safe sport decision to permanently ban Alberto from coaching. The nature of the allegations and the finding of a lifetime ban make it appropriate to change the name of the building. Like, so I could change that sentence. You can just eliminate the finding of a lifetime ban. The allegation should have been enough for you to say, you know what? Even if we don't know exactly what happened, we're just not, we just don't want that smoke. Right. We're just not going to put ourselves in the middle of a controversy when we don't have to. Like, once again, there was a protest. People don't, I don't know if people don't know about it or they don't remember. End of 2019, December 2019, there was a protest in Oregon. Mind you, that's December in Oregon. It is fucking cold there. For these people to go outside in the cold and say, fuck you, Nike, we're not, we're not cool with this. And they protest. That says a lot. That speaks to that Nike behind me. They pull I was going to say, look, people, y'all about to see <laughs> no. some magic happen. John, hold on, John, John Donahoe was like, I had enough of this. But no, point is, uh, I don't even know why I took this long. That happened in 2019. Here it is, 2021, damn near the end of the year. And they just now made the decision. Um, Beats me. I feel like, they, I mean, they kind of, this one had more, I mean, they, they rode with Kobe through his situation. So I'm not surprised that they did. Now with this, there was more. But they didn't even building after people. him at that time. They just allowed him to wear the shoes and shit. But they, they named a building after this dude. They did. They did take away his shoe too. They did. Yeah. Oh, they. They, they technically they, they took, took it, it away. away, but they still yeah. sold it to you. They, 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 they took it away. Like, he, but he they couldn't. Still, pro- he didn't get the chance to profit off of it. Like they did because they made. I got my two K. My two K four Hirachi said Kobe on him, so they did sell two K four Hirachi that said Kobe on him. Even, even if I wanted to play devil's Kobe. advocate, <laughs> even if I wanted to play devil's advocate in that situation, but this one had more pushback. So it could. This had more pushback, and it was like it served no business purpose. At least with the Kobe's, you can say, once again, if you want to play devil's advocate, uh, well, you know, they're trying to sell some shoes. So while they're not going to officially say Kobe, they're going to hint at Kobe. You know what I'm saying? They're going to still push it in, in, in some type of subliminal way. Whereas here, name, uh, what, is, what, do you, what do you get from naming this building after this dude? Nothing. How, 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 long, is he, how long was he a coach? Uh, Too long. In Oregon? <laughs> how, how long? I don't know. Not I mean, too long. I mean, according I'm, to I'm, I'm pretty sure he got some. some uh, he got some ties to some people that are really high up in Nike. As to why they probably I mean. like they put maybe out, maybe yeah, that's, that's what I'm they, saying. They really faithful. They, they literally in bed with Oregon. <clears throat> the, the founders are from Nike. Exactly. Some of their designers. I mean, from Oregon. Most, Most of, of their them. designers are from Oregon. You know what I'm saying? The dude Tim Day. He works on the LeBron collection. He's a former Oregon football player. So I mean, like they really really in bed with Oregon. So it really. Took, but that has to outweigh the negative that you we of from. course we know logically. Yeah, it should have been yeah, done. But but you, we let you know that. But when you have like, I guess, vested business interests with certain individuals, sometimes that clouds that judgment. To where you're saying, "Look, I, I'm really cool with you. I'm really cool with you outside of all of the, the wrong shit that you did. You still my homie, so I still want to look out for you. I mean, no saying, matter what the allegations and, and are, you, can't, you can't. You can't even look. I mean, look. we don't know what the relationship is, but I'm saying that is. I'm just saying, like it I, has to be somewhere. Bro, along I mean, you, lines. you can look. The only thing that makes sense to me is that he has some like compromising information and or pictures of somebody high up. Like that's the only thing that makes sense uh, to me. I don't think that. I mean, if you look to the presidency, when dude was flat out wrong, even for the, some of the similar <laughs> things, right? They still yeah. rolled with dog. He was yeah. impeached and everything, and they still was defending it. They still the Republicans still didn't want to get him out of there. Why? Because he was a part of their association and political beliefs. You know, so same thing with Nike. Dude's a part of our, our he's Oregon part of that family, culture, yeah. Our Oregon family, boom, boom, boom. So, I mean, think of, again. You think about that long line of, you know, how far back everything goes with Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight. Like, does Alizar guy? He's from that same lineage. Like, there is a relationship. I mean, there. I don't know how long their relationship is. I just know that you know all what I what I do know is is that. You have you talking about relationships? He was abusing Oregon athletes, so I don't understand. But but you already know certain tones of color come with certain privileges. And then not even and then not even that. I mean, let's just call it what it is. It's you know, it's a white male. Let's just let's just call it what it is, man. It's a white male. It's abusing uh, technically women. I mean, it could be of all races. You already know. A lot of times that just gets glossed over. Look at how people uh with the Michigan State with the Larry Nasser thing. 
Look at, look, look at how uh, it took a while for 45 people to five. It, it took for people the same thing. It, it so. takes for but people I, to like. It takes I, for I, so much for people to be like, you know what? I can't turn a blind eye anymore. No, I understand the why behind it. I'm just saying the what is bullshit to me. And real quick, this has nothing to do with nothing. But I love what gets sticks attention when we're doing the show, um, or what does or doesn't get his attention. But no, I, I get what, I get the why. Like, I know relationships and the skin to win and all this other shit is still bullshit to me because at the end of the day, it shouldn't have come to that. And what we're talking about here, like, you know what I'm saying, like naming the building, like, what, like there is nothing that makes sense as far as naming the building after this dude when your athletes are pushing back, when your I mean, employees I, you are know pushing what? back. It, I'm not too surprised because the money, I mean, we got money in our pockets or we've had touched money with slave owners on it. There's Capitol buildings and Confederate flags that associate slavery. So, I mean, it's in this country, it, if the things, a person who's caused so much oppression to another race or gender still gets celebrated, it takes a lot for the move. You know what I'm saying? No, I get so, what you're saying. Then, so to me, in this situation where it's obvious that you shouldn't have done that and it's still done, it's just like. It's I just a, don't want to get too jaded to where like I read a story like this and I'm like, mm mm-hmm. You know, no, no, we don't think we get. No, no, like no, that. no. We're we're not saying that. I'm what I'm saying is because I can't speak for for Guru. What I'm saying is I just have a the way all of this sounds is that there's you know a very very close relationship amongst uh uh with Alizar is that Salazar? Uh, yeah, his last name is Salazar. Yeah, there is yeah. a close relationship between him and probably some, you know, pretty high up. Oh, execs. probably most definitely. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know how that goes, man. Like, no matter they they homies. You know what I'm saying? They go out to eat together. They probably, you know, go over each other's house and play PlayStation. Who knows what they do? <laughs> you know, they're they're cool with each other. So no matter what the allegations are, they probably look at them like, hey, I'm I'm riding with you to the end. That's some bullshit. So uh, Alberto's alleged misconduct was brought to light in 2019 in a 2019 New York Times op-ed video featuring former teen track star Mary Kane, who alleged psychological and verbal abuse from her coach, Alberto. Uh, Mary said that Alberto, Alberto demanded excessive weight loss to the point where she lost her period, broke several bones and suffered from depression and suicidal thoughts. Uh, Mary's Nike teammates Confirmed the allegations made against Alberto. Nike employees protested at the company's headquarters in December 2019. When the building reopened after months of renovations, the protest was meant to raise awareness of how Nike can support the female athletes and employees. That's another reason why I get mad, because y'all come out here and throw women in some fucking ad and act like you're empowering them because you're throwing them an ad to fucking push your project or push your product when you could be really empowering them when they come to you with allegations of abuse. Well, you could, you know what I'm saying, do your due diligence in those matters. That's where I get upset because it's like, I don't give a fuck about, uh, oh, now we got a WNBA Jordan brand team, you know, full of a women's roster. That don't mean shit if, you know what I'm saying, I see the way you treat Allison Felix behind the scenes. If I see how you treat the women in this Oregon project behind the scenes, I don't give a shit what you, as are meant to be, those are PR moves marketing and all this other shit. Like, I don't give a shit about that. What are you doing behind the scenes? Like, we talked about Adidas last year when it was Black Lives Matter and all that other shit, but then we reading stories about how they treat their black, af- I mean, black uh, employees. I mean, yeah, same thing when I can You got Black History Month collection, yeah. but look at you. You got some internal uh, conflict with you support LeBron and all his political efforts and at your campus, you don't have adequate, you know, inclusion when it comes to Black History Month project or diversity in upper escalon position so i mean that i guess that's what makes me mad because it's like like i don't get swayed but that's why when i see that stuff like yes on one hand you know i am happy that that's a step forward but there's so many other steps that need to be taken you know what i'm saying and I, i'm not about to sit up there and get too happy over uh these pr moves and these ads and these marketing ploys that they put out there uh you know talking about in part like this is how you can really empower women you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a way you could have did it. You know, I gave them props with Neymar. When they did that thing with Neymar, I was the one to defend them. I said, you know what? They handled that right. So I don't understand how you can handle that right and then completely drop the ball on this when you didn't have to. This but, was so avoidable. That's the thing. Like, this was so fucking avoidable. You did not. There were so many other people you could have named this building after. You could have named it after Sandy from uh, Nike SB. You could have named it after so many other people. And you picked this asshole. 
Telling you why, man. Yeah. So anyway, according to an internal memo, the Alberto Salazar building would be renamed next after their next running shoe. So whatever. They could have been did that shit. You know that next vapor fly or you know oh, yeah. the who, long who, distance who, running shoe. They could have named it after a so bunch got, of people. So they got King Griffey already, they got Bo Jackson, they got LeBron, Serena Williams should be about done building. You got Michael Jordan. They got a Kobe building? I mean, not anymore. I was just saying, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's true, right? Yeah. What happened to Kobe building? Well, because you know they, yeah, they, oh they, yeah, you they, can't because yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I heard the LeBron building was dope. I mean, I, I mean, would you think anything different? Nah. Um, All right. What else? Hopefully, we get a chance to see it next year. Who's yeah. another athlete? Uh, they could have did. I heard I mean, that building's old and not stable, and is about to fall down every time it gets touched. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Guru's face is what makes it even better, though, too. <laughs> That's what makes it even better. Oh, man. That was a good Guru's one. speechless. That's... That was a good one. I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give him a free pass. Because <laughs> we need, this show needs to be engineered, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, LeBron does. He, they, all players flop. They all nah, no, no. all no, players flop. All NBA no, players no, flop. No, no, all, all players flop. Because NBA yeah, players well, now, are okay, now. Okay, now. All players NBA flop. Now. NBA flop. I'm just saying there yeah. used to be a time where look, look, certain players had, look, to, had some to do of, it. Some of LeBron's, though, just are like, so hilarious. I know. Though. That's mm. what makes it. It's like, dog. And you, like, I got to give him credit, though, because it is a skill to it. Like, mm. you know, the, oh, it's, it's acting. He's been in a movie, so he knows how to do it. And he sucks at acting. <laughs> Dog. Guru, how many shots you going to take, bro? Well, they ain't penetrating me, man. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite player had to come to LeBron for help, so we ain't gonna, there ain't too many shots you could take for your man Russ. Talking about unstable. He's been on four teams mm. in four years, but it's all good, though. You sound like Adam right now. Mm, it's all good, my dude. Well, no, Adam hates Russell. Russell. And who I did know, LeBron bro. just recruit? And who? The, or did we, did we recruit him? Good. We won before him. Who needs who more? I mean, I not the one. Well, 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 I guess at this point, I, probably, yeah. I think they need each other. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, because he won a year before that. Year well, before not that. last year. And who did he have? Anthony Davis. Yeah, he was, ha- I he was mean, healthy. I mean, yeah. who has won a championship by themselves? Not LeBron. Nobody's ever won a championship, championship by, by themselves. Self. No one. So the closest is Dirk. <laughs> yeah. But his bench was great. That's what I was going to say. Like, in, terms of crazy. Star, in terms of star power, crazy. he was, he he was, was like, the only star on that team. Yeah, but yeah, don't you dare star. disrespect Jason Terry. <laughs> <laughs> the Jet. Hey, look, LeBron did that Ooh. when he dunked on him. <laughs> oh, my Boston. goodness. <laughs> Why would you even jump? Like, look. I don't yeah, understand. Was, what, yeah, you gotta you gotta watch his interview when he talks about that happening. That was on a Bleacher Report when he was yeah. playing pool. Yeah, that was, yeah. I enjoy that little series when they play pool and talk to athletes because yeah. they talked to Percy Harvin about his uh, when he fought dog in the uh, locker room. Uh, oh, then he gets he got suspended. No, nah, that, that was that during game, the Super Bowl, was it? No, I thought didn't he? Because he got he got kicked out the league too. No, he got kicked out the league. They was doing the Super Bowl. They had a fight. I forgot who it was, bro. It was somebody on thing on the defensive side. They got into it. He told the story about it. How he kind of Richard like, Sherman. Well, no, it wasn't Richard Sherman. I forgot who it was. Well, you brought up Bleacher Report. We had an opportunity to sit down with uh, Rob Hayes and uh, Jamel Johnson, the two hosts of Bleacher uh, BR Kicks. Uh, sneak this. Got um, flying here. Yeah. yeah, you just <laughs> swat. All right, see them swatting around. But anyway, uh, yeah, we had a chance to sit down with them. Um, it's a comedy sketch show for sneakerheads. Um, they got different skits. Uh, they made their own bot one time. Um, they got the uh, the one where the old guy, what was his name? The old guy was dancing. We talked about that. Oh, Gerald? Yeah, Gerald. Uh, but no, it's a pretty fun skit um, or a pretty good show. Uh, we had a chance to sit down with them. Here's our interview with them we had this week. We're joined today by the dynamic duo that makes Bleacher Reports sneak this. It's a uh, was it like a sketch comedy uh, show for sneakerheads. Uh, it stars two comedians, Rob Hayes and Jamel Johnson. They're joining us now. Um, so you're replacing us? Yeah. So like, this is an audition. So you're getting ready to slam dunk. Yeah, it, um, this is an audition. I'm trying to replace you two. Okay. I mean, I think we well, got a better dynamic, black and white. They're just dark skin, light skin. No, it, it's it not may, quite the it same. It makes for good racial tension, but, uh, you know. Wow. Wow. We're racial starting to show like this. Immediately. 
<laughs> yeah, I, exactly. Exactly. I, honestly, you probably have to be like the first light skinned person we've had in the show in quite a long time. So. Okay. All right, Rob. There you breaking go. We, we, I'm applause. saying we breaking glass ceilings really around here. I think, I think, I I think you I might be. You really might be. He is. I, I no. don't want to discuss this. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, honestly, like, I mean, you know, light-skinned people are in style right now. So, you know, Drake is hot. Uh, who else? Drake. But Steph Curry uh, is Steph all Curry, yeah, there. Steph Curry. Well, Steph Curry's taking the loss right now, so. Hey, right, look, Steph Not Curry. Not Steph, but uh, Steph Curry mama. Daddy Curry. Yeah, so. Oh, boy. I don't know if we want to touch on that. I do. Uh, man, no, see, <laughs> see, see. This is why we can't have yeah. nice things. Did you guys read the TMZ article? Yes. Bro, the, play, the player stats of the other dude. I did not need to know he only played for three games for the Patriots. Like, I did not need to know that. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, like he's now more famous than he ever was when he played by virtue of who he's allegedly sleeping with. Let me kind of introduce you guys. Uh, Rob is a comedian, actor, and television writer, which is more lucrative than people imagine. Uh, and he has an album out on title called <laughs> Hayes Opedia. Yeah, it's a stand up comedy album, straight up. So if you like stand up comedy, there's no sneaker humor on there. You know, it's just more about just things that happen in my life, random things I think are funny, and uh, some stuff that I feel strongly about. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of a mixed bag of all that and some random thoughts. Now we got Jamel. Who is also a comedian and one half of the uh, was it a show comedy juggathon? Did he freeze up again? We're, let's just rename the yeah, show no, Technical Difficulties. Oh God damn it! I think I think he's sending you a message that he doesn't want to do this anymore. Yeah, See, I think they're, so. They're funny intentionally. We're just fucking up. Yeah, no, we're getting laughed at. They're getting laughed with. Yeah, there's a difference. Well, well while we waiting I mean, on Jamil, huh? Oh, no, I was just going to say that I, I, I feel like, you know, it would be impossible to talk about sneakers in front of an audience of, like, drinking adults. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just just think of a random audience of people and me going on stage like, man, these pollens, right? They, right. It just, it's just not going to work. As if they will all know the colorways and the silhouettes. Exactly. I, I don't think it would translate well. Jamil, what's up, man? I'm glad to have you back on here. I listen, guys. My my internet, sir. Me and Spectrum have been beefing for some time. <laughs> and, um, I just want you to know is is not. I do pay my bill on time occasionally. <laughs> I'm saying you gotta get off that Boost Mobile network, man. You gotta upgrade. People who have Spectrum, it's because Xfinity won't service those streets. That's why Cricket I have it. Started, Same. Yeah. yeah. Cricket started handing out modems <laughs> on my block a couple weeks back, and I grabbed one, and I thought. I thought it was the same. Hey, I thought, you I, make, was, I, thought I, I thought it was just modem. I didn't know you, there was better modems. You making that Bleacher Report money now? You got to upgrade, man. Yeah, I spent it all on hats. I <laughs> God. Dude, real quick, I, I got to point out, man. I'm I'm kind of mad that hats are a thing now because hats cost way more than they should. I saw a hat going for like a hundred dollars, and I'm like, why? That doesn't. People are lining up for hats, and yeah. it's like just make just make more hats. Thank you. Like. Like, just because you have a specific hat, it's not going to make you fresh. If you don't know what to do with it, then it doesn't matter. Like, why Why can't I just get a pink brim just on a random day? Like, why do I have to plan out a whole schedule because I want my underbrim to be pink? It sounds See, like a sneaker all over again. No, no, because oh, are I, we selling hats now? No, <laughs> uh -oh. there, there are people doing yes. it. Yeah. Yeah, yes. like sneaker culture has permeated a light bulb above my head. into no, other. I, I saw the gear turn like inside his head. Yeah, it, it's permeated into other facets of fashion, and it drives me nuts. Because I, to your point, I've never heard anybody say, "Hey, that's an impressive hat." They might say, "Hey, that's a nice hat" or whatever, but nobody's impressed by a hat. An like, impressive hat. Yeah, it's like that's an. I don't think that's the terminology you. Nobody. You there's not. A, there's like no a hat. hat. There's no hat con. You know what I'm saying? There's a sneaker con. There's no hat con. It will, well, it will probably blow your I'd mind if you nice it up. Well, hold up. I'd, I'd group hats yeah. in with streetwear, though. You what? I would group hats in with streetwear. I would, too. I'm just saying. Like, I, bet I, you there, I bet you there is a hat con. Hats are supposed to complement an outfit. Will they sponsor us? They're not the focal point <laughs> of an outfit. Shout out hat con if you're out there. Oh, my God. Are they going to have a, a fitted hat episode of The Hype? 
Are I'm they? the only one who prefers snapbacks. Are they having an episode oh, of that on the snapback still? Oh yeah. That's what I asked. Never stop. That, that was a question. Oh, that was a question. Oh, it, you know, at this point, I've I haven't watched the first episode. I plan on it. Uh, shout out to my man. Uh, damn, I forgot his name. He's um, dang, Speedy. he's like the host of it. Speedy uh, Alexander. So we don't even know who Ale- was it. Alexander, not Alexander St. John. He's Speedy doing the designs. Norman. Okay, but uh, he kept trying to tell you. I oh, know. Yeah, you don't yeah, listen to light skinned people. See, that's no, the problem. That's what it was. <laughs> Had Jamil said it, I probably would have heard it. Um, I- <laughs> yeah, dude was like, "Hey, Jamil, say the thing he's just said." I'm like, <laughs> "Right." <laughs> I, I, he's open in the corner. I don't know what. I- hey, it's hard to hear somebody you know from the house. I'm out in the field. Listen, point is, wow. Uh, no, but real talk, I do want to watch that show. Um, I'm I'm interested in seeing what it's about. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a hat episode for the hype because it seems like nowadays everything is hyped up. If you name it, it's gonna start getting resold. That's the thing. If you say, like, if you say something right now, yep. one thing we can count on is Monarch. Then yep. Monarch will be resold. Like, whatever, whatever it is that <laughs> is not cool will become yep. cool in three years. What changes have you seen in sneaker culture for better or worse? Um, since you've been in it to this point, but like how has it changed for better or, or for better or worse? Um, She's getting people, worse. People. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I mean, I didn't know if you, I didn't know. Like some people, some people look at it as a you know this is a great moment in sneaker history, right? Like cause they they love the fact that it's so expensive and everybody's included. Me in, in, on that premise alone, yeah. But all the other stuff, the resale, the bots, and all that extra, you know, that stuff is where I'm it like, gives people like us a job. But it is becoming mainstream and oversaturated, and like there are downfalls. Like that with that comes ma- more acceptance of fakes. Yeah, you know. What are your thoughts on that, though? I never thought I would see New Balance have its day. <laughs> like like the moment that New Balance is having now growing up, I always knew they were there and it was like, okay, I could, you know, get those if I want to do something a little different. But I never thought that like people would have New Balance. Like I feel like they like second or third, depending on who you ask right now. And I and I never thought I would see that. Also That's like the moment A6 had he's yeah. up, well, Jamel from D C. So we were always New Balance. Now everybody's wearing New Balance. I'm like, get the fuck, get out of here! Right, right. Thank you. We were wearing these specifically because no one else wanted them. Now look at this shit. (laughs) The same way how people felt about the DMV. Nobody wanted it. I've been wearing New Balances for like like ten years, but still, you know, to somebody like Jamel, ten years is nothing in the in the New Balance game. Right. No, thirty it's f- years. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's That's funny. Loyalty. I mean, I guess I would fall in that category because I got my first pair of New Balances. Shout out to Foot Locker; they sent me a pair last year. And That's you know, the only but, way. That's the only way you was gonna get no, them too, because huh? they don't usually make my size. So this is what happens. Whatever. A lot of times when Asics, no, because okay, so New Balance makes my size, but it's all like the mall walker shoe. Extra sizes, yeah, they got the yeah. They make shoes. they make wide shoes. They make like no, 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 no. Yeah, see, th- see, thank you. We've see, been no, no, to no, say this. no, no, no. Let me give you, let me give y'all proper context. Okay, they do make go. they do make my size, but like I said, it's all the mall walkers, like all the dope lifestyle sneakers that y'all get to buy. They don't make my size you, usually. You got to start somewhere. Like all the collaborations don't come in my size, so it's like all right. You can't you know. live like a peasant. What size do you wear? I wear a fifteen. Oh, okay. okay. See, oh, see, yeah. see. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You got to, you got to crawl before you. Before I'm saying, you if walk, I want to go for a brisk walk on a Tuesday morning at 7 a.m., yeah, like they got shoes for me. Like, but other I shoes. I can't see how, you wanting to go for a walk at 7 a.m. ever. Not at 7 p.m. Not at 7 a.m. To the fridge, <laughs> like, maybe. <laughs> well, to your mother's bedroom. Look, point is, <laughs> New Balance. <laughs> Make sure that gets edited out. <laughs> point is. Uh, you know, like, but I, I like the fact that New Balance and all these other brands are starting to get some shine, which leads me to my beef with Bleacher Report's top sneakers of the year so far. I got beef with that. I haven't even seen. I haven't even seen the list. Well, the list is down there all Nike. So you feel about that list? How I feel about your list weekly? 
I'm about to see. That's what it sounds like. I'm telling you, y'all want to come and replace them? Y'all want to be on our show? It's like mad hypocritical, sees. Hey, watch the ratings when you guys lose me. Oh, okay. Hey, watch them go up. <laughs> I mean, I'm with my hair like that. You should probably keep that fool. I'm not. I'm definitely not going <laughs> to do that. Hell yeah. Thank you. Well, I think that was a compliment. Nah. Yeah, it's nah. like, you know. I'm bummed, yeah. I'm bummed where you when Peppy Le Pew got cut out of a <laughs> I didn't even notice, but I guess uh, that that is unfortunate you news to hear. had a big time role that was removed. Yeah, yeah. We but thought I mean, that was in protest. No, no, I didn't even know. No. Uh, I forgot about him. Which but... is so dumb to me. Which is so what, dumb to me. He's like a predator. He, no, he, he's not. A so predator. they literally had it in the movie who eats children. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, well, but the skunk is fresh creepy. They from the Clockwork Orange who, you know, yeah. Yeah. But no, we can't have Beverly Pew. Shout out Clockwork Orange. And by the way, I, <laughs> I got a... <laughs> this is the most dysfunctional interview ever. Um, this but no, is an interview? It's more of a okay, conversation. I was, oh, I was confused. It's more Cross of a conversation at this point. <laughs> Just in general, do you guys feel like we've reached a point where... In general, we're just all overly sensitive. Um, first, I'd like oh, to say yeah. Time Warner is a great company. You know, they do great <laughs> things. Warner Brothers is a great property. You know, uh, and, and the decisions that were made made a new legacy. You know, uh, you know, one of a the greatest movies of, of this year. A classic. It's a classic. Yeah, a, so, you know. Classic. I'm just struggling to find the one non-offensive thing that no one on the planet finds offense to. People found sneak this offensive. Yeah, yeah. That's like, what I'm saying. People find us offensive. People, somebody was offended by I. I would say offended, but like when that narco. So we did a parody, a <laughs> narco's parody uh -huh. about the kid who was reselling shoes. Right. About the the the, the Herbert boy. Joe yeah. Joe Herbert. Joe Herberts. Yeah. We do a sketch about this fool. It looks like narco. Was, and in our how how dare you give him a platform <laughs> uh, what is this I'm like dog it's, pretty thin. it's not a plat TV is not all platforms right did, yeah did Denzel give Frank Lucas a platform did Oliver Stone no. give Tony Montana a platform did Scorsese <laughs> give John Corleone a platform like, like what are you talking about no, I, I 100%. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, the nonsense of that. Speaking of which, uh, I had a conversation with somebody who actually works for Nike, and they were talking about how Ann Herbert really took the rap, took the fall. Like, basically, uh, she was beloved by many people there. And. Well, you could tell with how the agreeance was for her to step away from her role. Well, yeah, and well, that was my and that was my whole like. If you go back and watch the episode where we talked about it, like I was pissed because I didn't like the fact that Nike was trying to play dumb because she was up front with them from the from jump. She told them exactly what she was doing. She said, "Hey, my son, I got this thing, you know, whatever we're involved in it." And Nike was like, "Okay." And then when it became news, all of a sudden they're like, "Oh, she made a bad decision." Well, it was a bad decision that you knew about. So don't play dumb now. Um, but talking to people, they were saying, like, hey, like, she was a good person. And they felt like because there were other people that wanted her position. And so they kind of amplified that story and kind of, in some way, she got pushed out. And so in that way, I feel bad. Oh, sure. I mean, what the would line. you do? Like, if you, if you work, say you work anywhere, right? And you're mm -hmm. selling, say you're selling phones right yeah you're selling phones you know what goes into it you the design the hard work the long hours you you making it you know making the screen flat making it so that when you drop it it don't break you're doing all that and then you guys figure out a price that's fair for the market and you put it out and the minute people buy it they can flip it for 10 times the price yeah well like, what would you do and you, you're you right there where the phones is there you can't buy that kind of advertising or hype. This is beneficial for it, for Nike. What the? Is at your house. What is like the the concept yeah. of? The I mean, concept what's, of what's funny is somebody that's actually worked at a phone store uh, and heard the stories about that happening. That's nothing new. No, uh, <laughs> elaborate. I, I'm what Dunks made a point. I want him to elaborate on that real quick. I'm, I'm trying to follow. Yeah, We're saying like, 
Well, no, you're saying like the <laughs> price. Usually <laughs> does. That's the, the price, best part. The price of a phone. <laughs> He has said the price of a phone only costs so much, and you agree what you'll sell it for. Yeah. But I'm saying the second that runs out, and everyone knows what the, what the value is, Nike thrives off that, that resale Oh, market. most definitely. No, like, I'm... they can't, you can't buy that kind of hype, is what I was saying. Oh, yeah, they love resale culture. As much as they try to act like we don't like it, yes, you do, because it adds oh, yeah. value to that's, your brand. That's free marketing. Yeah. Nike has a filter, and they choose good. when to filter bots. Like, they're not going to filter Just, every on, on release. Side note. People have been getting shot over Nikes for yeah quite some time. Good Decades. amount of time. It's eight, yo, okay. But Emmons was getting shot for Bally's in '86. Right. It's not new. No, it's definitely not new. I think the I think because we just did a story. I don't know if it was last week or the week before, uh, where a young man was killed at a, a shoe palace over a raffle. I think for the pollen ones. I think the issue is we're still doing this, and you know what I'm saying. And it's like. Why is it still an issue? It and wasn't even the shoes. It was just a raffle. Yeah, it was just a raffle, and it was dumb to me. Um, and they was, was just trying to break it up. Yeah. Well, and, no, so and this is what was, happened. It was an employee who Try. tried to break up a fight, and he got shot and killed. Yeah. Right. It was a 16-year-old kid who showed up with a gun. A fight broke up between him and somebody else in line. The employee shows up, tries to de-escalate the situation, and ends up getting shot by the 16-year-old. And I actually had somebody in my comments like, well... It's a dangerous area, and a 16-year-old needed to protect himself. I'm like, the fact that you needed, for well, the fact that you think you need this shoe so much that you place yourself in a dangerous environment where you feel like you need a gun tells you everything that you need to know. Now, and I also said this, I'm all about personal responsibility. Like, 16-year-old, you know better, you know right from wrong, you know gun, kill, killing people is wrong. This is not a foreign concept to a 16-year-old. But as a brand, I think you have to look yourself in the mirror and consider the role you're playing in creating such an environment. So I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on that. I mean, I, I think that, that the original purpose of the confirmed app and uh, the sneakers app was to prevent violence, was to yeah. prevent, you know, it's like send it straight to the home. Now you don't have to worry about can I make it home getting these shoes? So I, I think that was the original, you know, purpose of the apps. But unfortunately, that just created so much corruption and, you know, the computer people started getting in, the bots started getting in it, and then it just made it, you know, now it's like, can I make it home? Now it's like, why even try? Right. My guy used to backdoor me shit straight from the Foot Locker in Potomac Mills. He's been in the game since 05. Hopefully he doesn't work now, there anymore. No, nah, now he's on his own. <laughs> now he's out the trunk. He's doing raffles on IG Live. Wow. He had to, he had to change with the times. Wow. Yeah. It's like I, when you're selling dope, you got to figure out a different way to sell your dope. You know? I guess. Everybody want to be on the same corner. You got to get the dope that sells itself. That blue magic. Wow. It's a brand name. Otherwise known as Sacconi's. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the oh. first time Sacconi's been mentioned on the show this year, by the way. <laughs> Shout out to Sacconi. <laughs> Did y'all hear about the Under Armour parties? <laughs> no, no, man. It's out LA. Are they no. doing this in Maryland? But no, it, yeah, you, it's out your way. Um, yeah. So. So a couple of years ago, they got busted because they they would use company cars to go like to strip clubs and stuff. And my best, my favorite part about that story was uh, they would have somebody walk through the Under Armour offices and inviting only the hot chicks in the office. Wow. Yeah. So since then, we've been trying that. to get to a party. We've been trying you to go to an Under Armour party. You won't, but uh, I, I will. <laughs> Slam. I'll stand near Dunk. that. I'm not going to stand for it, but I would stand like. <laughs> I'm like saying that. that's why. Right. Can you imagine going to the strip club in all Under Armour tech gear, like, like, those, like turtleneck, <laughs> it's ten dudes in light blue dry fit, man. Challenge accepted. I mean, it's got to as I'm long a... as they got the AC on and I got my heat gear on, so I'm good with that. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, look like. like I wonder... We're gonna look like some. Like a superhero. We're gonna walk in looking like a white collar golf club, like just, <laughs> just. Yeah. Well, they, they definitely gonna expect money to be thrown if if you're looking like that. I already go in there looking like a rock. Star. I mean, if it's going on the Under Armour company card, like I don't care. 
Yeah, but what do you do? You gonna know, swipe the card on their ass like the tip drill video? They probably did. It's only twenty dollars yeah, for the so ATM. You got, this, you got hmm. the spandex on, right? You got yep. all spandex on Under Armour. They see how yep. much ones you got on you. So the minute you reach in the spandex, it's like, oh, you got a tip. <laughs> hit the spandex. Oh, yeah. You're lit. not been inspected. Yet. <laughs> you got your rock trainer shoes on. You got your Cam Newton trainers on. Yeah. Your Tom Brady. Your Tom Brady. No, he, he was ugly, though, isn't he? Or is no, he, he, he under, under Armour. Armour. Is he? Yeah. That was the quietest it, collaboration ever. Look at Tom Brady. Think of Under Armour. I think they kind of go hand in hand. I mean, honestly, I. Those are non competes. You could be with both. Well, uh, well Uggs <laughs> and Under Armour. <laughs> yeah, because I thought about non competes when, when Zion was offered that Money Yachty uh, contract. And hey, Master P, I'll at it. We'll, we'll do a Money Yachty too. Oh, he was basically. That was the. Uh, <laughs> What was that? His hey, shoes basically that, the tip shoes. Y'all say that now until, until you see what y'all get oh, to work with. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, those are those template oh, sneakers that everybody can design. <laughs> everybody got the same basic design. You no, basically it's going to look like a 2K sneaker. Hey, whatever sneaker you guys get, can I get a friends and family pair early? Oh, my God. We gotta fun, yeah. Hey, we got to fund you this know. show somehow. Oh sell, sell it to him as an yeah. NFT. He'll like that. With an extra pair of, of half white, half black laces. You know what I'm saying? Have blind hey. laces, have black laces. Oh my god! Yeah. I, I think that's slick. I like that. Please don't feed into his bullshit. Should we just call you Scarface? Hey, uh, we... yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. I'll wear the Scarface <laughs> Air Force Ones next. Now he brought up the <laughs> NFTs, and I think that might be the dumbest thing Yo, ever. I'm riding this NFT. I know he hard. loves the NFTs. I think it's so stupid. Like I'm gonna sell you an image of a shoe that you can't wear, can't do shit with. Well, but... some of them are actually like videos. And what the fuck you supposed to do with a video? Hear me out. Hear me Watch out. it. I want their that's opinion. Like dating a, that's like but, dating a girl online. So check this out. So they're canceling OnlyFans. Their OnlyFans can't do sexual content. No, no they're not no, canceling they, they just backed off on that. Yeah. Damn, well, I was going to say they should combine that with NFTs. And if you don't do subscriptions, that's I keep girls up with sell that one of, of ones. I do. <clears throat> Point is, I just think the whole I NFT... I got a brothel to run. Come on, I now. think the whole NFT thing is... I, I think that's, that's when... Invest in NFTs now. I think that's the the people above see the money that's being made and it's like y'all are idiots, y'all will buy anything, watch this and what well, college textbooks, everything, everything's gonna be NFT. Yeah, because you can read anything on a screen, like shoes. I can't wear a shoe, a virtual sneaker. Well you can. Well if you can't afford yeah. it, you can at least pretend you are. Oh my god. How see, do you I... make NFT scarce? Like how do, so okay, so say <laughs> I wanna put a joke as the NFT. How could like I prevent someone else from buying that NFT? Be because you, in the blockchain, you say how many there are. For example, Jeff Staple just dropped sixty, and they're all they're all numbered one through sixty, and you can't lie Same. about it because the technology. Uh, like, let's say you're buying or selling on OpenSea, the marketplace. You can you can view the whole history and everything about it through the blockchain. You know what the fallacy of that is? Is sneakers do the same thing? Like they'll drop a shoe, number it, and there's still fakes of them out there. So to his point, like, what's harder to make a a real shoe or a virtual shoe? Oh yeah, virtual. See, yeah. yeah. I would. You know what? This is what people have got to do. You got to walk up to somebody that's got some real pigeons on. If you see somebody with some pigeon dunks on, walk up to them and be like, "Man, I'm just like you. I just got the NFT. I just got the, I got the digital <laughs> pigeons." Like pull your see, pull your phone out and just show them to them. <laughs> Don't even show it. Just talk about it. Like, oh yeah, no, yeah. Back in the hard drive, you know what I'm saying? I got, I ain't even bust them out yet. I got the pigeon NFT. Just see how they react. Cause I imagine somebody with the OG pigeon. Yo, but but as them. much as as much as you're joking, that let's say the dunks go for thirty thousand, right? These NFTs are selling for two Ethereum's. That's like. Sixty-five hundred, seven thousand U.S. dollars. These are these are virtual beanie babies. I can and I cannot wait for hey, the bottom to fall out. He literally couldn't even believe it. I can't wait for the bottom to fall. Remember when BB? Remember when beanie babies even, were hot and people were buying them for like thousands of dollars, and then one day yeah. people just decided that they weren't valuable no more. Beanie babies. Once <laughs> <It was> McDonald's <laughs> the game up because McDonald's, McDonald's put them in the Happy the market, Meals. Yeah. Yep. They I just say the market. Be with beanie, the babies. beanie babies. The hey. Furbies. The Tamagotchis. All of that stuff. It came and went. I just cannot wait for the bottom fallout. Really, I, I really can't. Shout out Nano Pets. Big up. <laughs> <laughs> you're using a Ethereum as the unit of measurement because that that changes every day. Like so, yeah, you know, you it might does. Say that's seven thousand a day, and then tomorrow it'll be like four thousand. 
Yeah, I'm I know. I agree. It's not stable. Of a five pack of white teas. It's going to be a five pack of white teas <laughs> NFT. You know, I'm surprised Foot Locker hasn't done that. Hell yeah! Come a on, tall dude. tea sticker NFT. That's what I need. Hey, look. Hey, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take your T-shirts. I'm gonna put a thunderbolt on them, and then I'm gonna say I'm creative. If um, you guys make these NFTs, I will buy wow. them. <laughs> It's got to be a very specific I, thunderbolt, yeah, though. Yeah, and I will say this though, because this you could say this about him or even the UAs and the Super Perfects and all the other categories of fakes, where the brands kind of did it to themselves, right? Because when you create an environment where there's so much scarcity and you create so much demand, people are going to want the product whether they get it from you or somewhere else. And so you got a lot of people now who are comfortable wearing fakes. Whereas I remember when I was younger, that was like taboo. It was like you getting clowned. All day, every day. Now it's like you know what? People understand. It's like yo, like you gonna spend a thousand dollars on that shoe, or you gonna spend a hundred and fifty dollars on a shoe that looks damn near identical? Like unless somebody forces you to take the shoe off to like do some type of uh, StockX check or, or something. Or are you gonna spend two fifty on the NFT? So that way nobody oh can God, make you take the shoe off. I don't even want because you live inside of a computer. Exactly. They can't even Come put on, you in there. In the bank. They hacking T-Mobile. You don't think they gonna hack and take your? No, it's like thank you. It's, it's Digital, like Tron. We've talked about the digital wallets aren't safe. It's not your bank account. You shouldn't store your cash in there. When you do a transaction, you should empty it. Yeah, I agree. That's real. That that might That's be the like, like PayPal that might be the smartest too. thing anybody said in like, the show so we, far. We talked well, about this before. Come from the like, white guy. Don't leave don't leave yeah. money in your PayPal. Don't leave money in your Goat account. We, it can be hacked. I almost said we can hack it, but it can be hacked. <laughs> wow. <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. Incriminate wow. yourself oh, again, right? <laughs> it's a comedy show. Even the $11 in my OnlyFans? I've been trying to figure out how to get this $11. $11. It's like he's getting cut off. I'm saying. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell o- you. OnlyFans don't want you to talk about that. No, nah, you need to take your OnlyFans money and upgrade that modem. Yeah, for sure. I don't know if the $11 <laughs> is going to cover it, but it's a start. We'll try. It might be worth a spectrum Can we start upgrade. a GoFundMe for Jamil? Let's we'll start yes, a few of them, please. though. Now we're talking. <laughs> Why are you adding click on sneak this, send it to people, play to your sleep? You know what I'm saying? That would help Jamil out a lot. Uh, play in your sleep. Watch. Just yeah, run, it on, yeah. run it on mute. So I got to yeah, ask. Just, I mean, <laughs> you know? yeah. just get a blind view. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> Yeah. Every IP address you can find, just pull up the link. You know, you go to the library. You. Just click it. Stay, go on the PR app and uh, just leave it. Hey, once real yeah, talk. Once I found out, lab, every 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 computer in the computer lab just turn it on one time. Make a playlist. Turn it hey, on. Hey, once I found out what people really do on library computers, I stopped going to libraries. <laughs> like I was That's like, no. no, I was like, Mm-mm. it gets a little strange in there, <laughs> man. <laughs> a little. Hey, what you can never do on in the library is print out a script that you'll get so many business cards, so many people like they were like, oh, this is my shot. Like you cannot print a script at the library. You tried that? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I had to do what I had to do. You know, hmm. I, I didn't have a printer at the house. I had, I had to, you know, audition. I had to print the script. Next thing I know, I'm I'm the king of the library. All right, we're going to start a GoFundMe. We're going to get Jamel or Modem. We're going to get you a printer. Come on, man. Maybe y'all should sell that, sell that uh, sneaker bot that y'all made on uh, <laughs> that one sketch. You, well, might, um, be well, you, you, know you might be able to get Hold it. You might be able to get it, right? Before we even get That's into that. Let's let's <laughs> before we get into that, let's let's it's kind of walk into the show and the premise. Like so first of all, how did that even all come about? Like who approached who and whose idea was it? Um, I feel like our CJ man, Teledano, he, uh, he used to work at Bleacher Report, and he, he did some of the, um, like, LeBron musical stuff, some of the, like, uh, more high, like, high-end videos that they would do, um, you know, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air stuff, the stuff with Kawhi, so he approached me, Jamil and I about, um, doing a show. And I think the buy was one of the things we came up with before we even sold the show. We just, we, you know, that was just an idea that, you know, just kind of came up naturally. And then we were in the parking lot, we're leaving. Our first time we like met up to talk about it. And that's when the, the Janet Herbert story broke. 
And then it was like, well, we got to do something with that. And that was like, yeah, before we even took it to BR or anybody. Gino brought up the uh, the bot episode. I would have to say my favorite one, though, is because I've done this so many times. Trying to sneak a package in past your significant other yeah. <laughs> and trying to come up with different explanations. <laughs> did, you ever, did, did you ever go yeah. have words with Gerald? At unions for my friend's union? <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> we got to we gotta do a part two where me and Gerald reconnect about the oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. where we yeah, like. We got to get Gerald to return. How many takes did it take for him to get that dance down, though? Like, <laughs> was that one take? No, he had that out the gate. He was ready to go. That was him hooping. He was like, I got my stuff in the car if you need me to hoop. Like, he was ready to, like, hoop. What? But then he just started, like, throwing passes and stuff, and it was like, oh, yeah, he from a different era. He from a, like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. He used to run with, he used to go to run and you shoot. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was at run and shoot with Bob Cousy. He was out there. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, he was really- yeah. That's back when they had the peach baskets. That's when they had the peach baskets in the ladder. Every time somebody scored, you had to climb up and get the ball out. They was using crates for a different reason. And then the uh, sneaker draft. The sneaker draft got me too. Because when he, I think, who got feeler? Was it the Asians? Those was white girls. Was white, girls. white girls. Yeah. Okay. White girls. Okay. White girls. White girls. Yeah. They got the feel of disruptors. They had 30 Air Force Ones on the board, but they, they picked the <laughs> I thought that was funny. I immediately thought of the uh, the, the race, race draft. draft. That's, the, uh, yeah, that's the show. first thing I thought yeah. of when I saw it. But it rang Quite, true, though. Definitely the, in- well, definitely the inspiration, for sure. And, uh, you know, if Chappelle, we, we want you to know we love you, bro. Uh, if you want a cut of that. We haven't got paid yet, but we will. We haven't Maybe done a sketch about it. Alexander McQueen's yet, but you know, if you, if you got one, then we went down to do it. We got to do a skit. We got to do a skit with y'all one day. We got to think mean, of no, something. Season two, everybody's in. Yeah. Everybody. It could yeah, go hand in hand with her sneaker line. Well, it ain't not, everybody. We're not, we're not everybody, just us. I was going to say, it ain't everybody if we not okay. involved. Exclusively y'all. Yeah. <laughs> the royal everybody. Yeah, exactly. There'll be season yeah. three, but we got season two. Why do I feel like this is going to be a Janet yeah, Jackson? Two. Why do I feel like this is going to be a Janet Jackson Tupac moment? You remember that story he told about when they were filming on uh, Poetic Justice? He had her number and he called her, and as soon as the movie wrapped, the phone got disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> like, we would never hear from Rob oh, or Jamil ever again. Any scenario where I'm Janet Jackson, I'm cool with. So, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm having to believe the number. I hate that I even said it. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I do do the dance routine from Pleasure Principle when I'm alone. Like after this, I might throw on some knee pads and just...